So I'm having a bacon sandwich and a coffee before I go. Right guys, so I'm about four miles in uh, on the first day, off up that way towards Drimmen. Um, the first bit isn't very scenic to be honest with you, but it's starting to get better now. I'm just like stopping there, admire that. Size of them, titchy. <laughs> So that is the famous Glendoyne distillery, but I'm not going there. So I'm gonna crack on. Um, I think I've got six miles left to go. Right guys, so as you can see, we've made it to uh, Drimmin, or Drymen, however you pronounce it. So I'm coming in to get some supplies. I've come off the West Island way. I'm gonna get something for me tea tonight, and then I'm gonna head off back out. Find some like a wild camp. Hope I don't need them. Anyway, this is me leaving um, Drimmin. So, not on the West Island way, I'm taking a kind of shortcut. It's to uh, get back on it, I need to go back the way I came into Dr Drimmin, up that road. But if I just walk up here, I meet it again, just up there. So I got myself some provisions from the spa and had a couple of cheeky pints in the pub. Because why not? Might as well. So yeah, I'm uh, going to get the uh, West Island Way, pick it back up down there and I'm going to head off over towards um, Connor Kill, which I believe is that one. But, um, I'm not going to go up it today, I'll do that tomorrow. So I'm going to find somewhere in the woods, set me tent up, bring you back when I'm there. Yeah, so like I said guys, just come up that track. Um, bit of an incline. <laughs> uh, West Island Way, that's where I would have come out. Just there if I had kept following it. But I'm meeting back up with it, yeah. So I've only cut a very small section out. Drimmin's just down there. Um, I just didn't see the point in going back on myself. So if any purists would say I haven't done it, I disagree. So anyway, I'm going to push off up into the forest and I'm going to um, see if I can find somewhere to put my tent up. Well, that's just lifted me spirits. That was fucking stunning. Right, I said I wasn't going to go up the top of uh, Conic Hill, but that's inspired me, so... Still not 100%, I might. We'll see how far it is. And if I can be arsed when I get to the foot of it. Closer you get, the better it looks. It's awesome. Right guys, so I've made camp for the night. Obviously that fire's not off me. I'm not having a fire either, but uh, I'm staying here. Got my tent. Um, track is literally, if I can see it, it's just there where my finger is pointing. Um, Conic Hill is that hill just through the trees there. Um, I'll be going up that tomorrow, I can't be asked today, so I'm just gonna uh, sack it. So, for anyone that's remotely interested whatsoever, I'm just gonna show you what kit I uh, brought with me quickly. So, I've got this big house, big, I'm not quite sure what I'm making is, I don't know if that's it, a trek off, that's just. This system, I don't know whether that's in the other bag or not. Um, the side here, I've got my waterproof trousers and a uh, cap there. Just keep the sun off my head. Uh, sorry, that's waterproof trousers. I lied to you. That is a um, windproof jacket, a really small one. You can uh, just roll up, basically, and sho shove, it, shove in the side, which I've done. Right. So what we've got in here. Is everything else. So that little flex on pouch that is wash kit, repair kit, so a uh, sewing kit, um, first aid kit, towel, deodorant, uh, foot care kit, all that stuff is uh, fits in there. I've got me a uh, guidebook. There's also a map in my bag, which I uh, didn't get out, and a bag of baby wipes that's in my bag still. 
They're in the yeah, side compartments. I, I always forget about the side compartments. Oh yeah, my shit kit's in there as well. So a little trowel and some uh, toilet roll. So that bag is my spare clothing. I'll use that as my pillow as well. I know it won't be the most comfiest, but you know, just try and save weight because my pack weighs 18 kilograms. Black US bag. I could have maybe bought, uh, um, you know, one that's equal to that in warmth and a lot smaller, but I just don't have the money at the minute to get that. That's the AirPad 2. I used to slag that off, but um, I, I'd done the typical bloke thing when, when you buy flat pack furniture from Ikea. I just didn't read the instructions. So now I know how to use it. It's not that bad. And the pack's down a lot smaller. So that's the water purification system, so it's not the bag. Then inside, well, you can see the uh, syringe. Uh, so we saw ya. Um, so scoop the water up with that, purify it through that, and then put it in the Nalgene water bottle. So a bag of food, four days worth, I'm out for ten days in total, but um, I really just need the four days because I can just stock up at shops on the way and I keep that for when there is no shops. Just a little mug for me coffees, massive gas can, I got that size because it was about ten pence more than the other one, so I thought, sorry, I'll just get a massive one. <laughs> Hindsight, I should have just got a small one because uh, it's extra weight. Jet boil, ten year old one. Um, got me spoke in there, I've got brew kit in there and I've got loads of these porridges, well I've got one, two, keep two in here and another um, seven or eight in there yeah, there's ten in total, I've brought ten lots of porridges so what I've done is I've took them out of sachets pre-measured it as you can see that little blue line so that's how much hot water I've put in it and then it goes in the homemade cosy and I can eat out of that and then when I'm finished I've just got that as my rubbish and don't have to wash a bowl out head torch and then gorilla pod crampons and ice axe now you might be thinking why the hell have I brought that? that's because I'm doing Ben Lomond um, but looking at the peaks it didn't look very snowy on the top so I, should, I might be alright I didn't want to take a chance so yeah, brought brought that for Ben Lomond and then when I get to the end I want to do Nevis but I've done it three times last year so I might not. So that's why I brought the ice axe and the uh, crampons. May not need them but I thought best bring them just in case. Right, I'm going to get some scoff. Right, morning guys. A little patch there, that's where my tent was. I'm packed up, left no trace. Um, grab my walking sticks and head off up Connick Hill. Had a terrible, terrible night's sleep. Um, that air pad. Nah, it's shit. I take it back what I said. <laughs> it's now shit again. It kept just deflating, and I mean like quick. It's been like three minutes, so I was pretty much after a while. Just fed up with getting up and fucking building it up again. I've been up all night, so I thought I'll try and get some sleep. Fucking hell, it was terrible. So I've got to go down to Balamar after Connor Hill, get a bus around a place called Balak. And then, because there's a, an outdoor shop there, buy a new sleep mat and get the bus back to Balamar and then crack on. Luckily, I've only got a six mile, six, seven mile stretch today, so it's not too bad. Um, but I'm definitely looking forward to sleep today. <laughs> Absolutely knackered. I'll probably be in bed by four. Hopefully. Uh, yeah, they say things come in freeze, don't they? So if you, you may have noticed that these are new walking poles. So my old walking poles, my leckies, uh, they were twist lock ones. They just got stuck. They wouldn't uh, move down. Or one of them wouldn't move down. Collapsed down, so I had to go and buy another pair of them. So. That means I've got one more bad thing to come. <laughs>